guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another trucking video with Trucking with Jay. So, here's why it's important to do your pre trip. Because when I turned on my lights for my dash, which is this switch right here, this one, you see, turn it off, all the lights come on, on, whatever. None of my, all oh, my lights came on and then they end up dying out of me. Then when that happened, my clearance lights right up here end up turning off as well. So now I replaced the fuse. I already made a video on how to check if your fuses are bad. It wasn't popped or anything. The problem was that it's just so old, I guess. It was just full of dust and stuff. So I replaced the fuse, brand new fuse. Dash is working all over again. And we all good to go there. So, always make sure you look over your truck. Make sure everything is good. You see all my lights is on. I know I have this light burned out, but it will get fixed soon. Highlights are working. Clearance lights are working. Motherfuckers bug my light a little bit. And I really can show those are working. Pre-trip is key guys. Always do your pre-trip. God damn. It smelled a lot over here. Woo! Oh snap. All my lights are working. In the future when I do buy this truck, I want to replace all of this. The nicer one. All that. All my lights is working. All is good. Airbags are fading up. None of my axles are leaking. That's another good thing. None of my hubs are leaking. That stop is on that tight. I don't see no loops. Yes, sir. Nothing built to anything. snow as you've seen earlier when I was doing my preacher wall let's see how she does oh I did a rookie mistake we got to take the brakes off look at that look at the snow not even there so oh, good thing we moved forward I can park my Jeep and hit the road give me a second guy as you guys can see I'm here fueling up. Diesel is super expensive, guys. So please, guys, don't take shit free. Because, y'all, if truck notes, insurance is not going to kill you. Look at that. 425. Woo! That's expensive. I think that's the highest I've seen. Besides California, but man, this diesel price is expensive. If I was wondering if you guys know about this, you see my skip plate. That's like a rubber piece on it. I don't know if that's supposed to be greaseless or you supposed to still grease it. If you guys know, comment down below and let me know. If not, 
I'm gonna just keep on greasing this so like that I know it's good at least. Woo. Let's see how much this piece takes. She was at a quarter tank before I stopped the full load. And if you guys don't know, this is the pilot on 78, exit 12, still in Jersey. Not sure what city this is in Jersey, but at least you know if you're on 78 and you're running low, if you see exit 12, get off and fill up. And then there's another one on exit 7. So there's a TA and a plane in there, so you should be going in there. Woo! Come on, you know, let these fill up and I'm gonna clean my windows and I'll catch you guys in a second. Hopefully, when I get back in the truck, my GoPro's charged, so you know, you can get some rolling action. What's going on guys? So we on the road. We just fueled up. It took about six hundred and eleven dollars. Excuse me. To fill up this truck. I am 44 miles away from where I gotta go pick up. It is alive on load. Basically, I have to unload it. Now I back into a oh what the hell? Back into a docks and loads itself you know what I'm saying and we're gonna go get this trailer go to Staten Island two stops unload bring the trailer back go home that's about it try to clean my windows as best as possible it is super cold outside like unbelievable let's see what the weather is saying It is saying 12, that's not here. 15, but it feels like, oh, 15. That is about right. And guys, remember one thing. Don't do as you see me do. Because what I do, I might be comfortable doing. Doesn't mean you're comfortable doing. Yeah, you see me use my phone for two seconds to show you guys the weather. But does it mean go out and do it yourself? That's a big no-no. And it's really cold. Ice, ice, uh, black ice condition. So, you know, take it easy. Like, it's so cold, I have this water bottle right here. And it's literally ice. It's ridiculous. I gotta clean up my truck. I gotta mess again. But it's whatever, clean it later. So, also wanted to say, guys, that your pre trip is your best friend. If you don't do your pre trip, you're really messing up. Because we're professionals and let's keep it professional. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's people that even do their pre trip on their cars. Basically, what I'm saying by that is they make sure they don't have no flat tires, they check their oil levels, they make sure their lights and their brakes and all this stuff works. Because this is all things that must be working to be on the road legit. Yes, I do need to fix that turn signal. <laughs> we order the light, we just wear it to come in. Elizabeth Truck Center didn't have it on that one. I found it in uh, Florida at the 595, but they only have one. I feel like if I'm gonna change one, might as well change both of them. Uh, at least I know they both have the same lifespan, at least close to the like, same lifespan since they're both brand new and they've both been put in at the same time. That's my thought of thinking about it. And I also found them clear, so they're all white instead of being yellow and red or yellow and amber or whatever colors you want to call them. Or uh, amber and red or whatever it is. I think the truck will look a lot better when it was on. Diesel, guys, has went up like crazy. I got a little earlier. So please, guys, do your due diligence and pre plan your trips. Try to find the cheapest diesel stations because 425 like this, I haven't seen prices like this in a long time. Like, it's ridiculous how expensive diesel has really gone up. Like, a little bit ago, I was getting diesel at like 380. 60. Now it's four dollars, four twenty-five, four thirty-eight, something like that. And that is one way too high, and two super ridiculous. Like, damn. Like, how you supposed to be out here making money, 
but the cost of running your truck is more than what you actually make. Because if you're doing the low ball right now, these numbers is trash. These numbers are no good. These numbers are horrible. Like, I got stuck in Florida. Made my week last week super hard. Basically, the last day of the week for my for the month was hard. I had a three thousand dollar load going from Georgia. Mind you, I had to deadhead from the five ninety five. I was over there by like West Palm Beach area, Fort Lauderdale, and I deadheaded from there to Georgia. From Georgia, I picked up a load. That was a headache. That was a whole other story on itself. And I went all the way to like Bloomsdale, New York, or something like that. A little bit past Albany. A thousand and like 90 miles from Georgia to where I was going upstate for $3,000. So we use a broker. So he takes automatically 10%. I don't mind it because he does wonders. I get paid 25% after he gets his 10% taken out. And on the way up, I put about $1,300 in diesel. So you do the math. And then if you want to consider also the 2.75% for the, uh, the factoring fee, Yeah, I thought he was great or something. Maybe he was. Then, you know, you guys can do the math yourself, but that's ridiculous. So, me as a driver, I only made about like 600 bucks. It would take, you know, regardless to what, it was a shitty week. The week before that, going down to Florida, was pretty good. So this week, I'm going to try to have a $10,000 week. Throws for the company. You know, and let's see how we, we take it from there. Damn, this guy is going slow in the middle lane. What is this, a plow truck? Yep. Two plow trucks on the side of the highway. Hopefully it doesn't start snowing. Hopefully the weather does get better. Because honestly, guys, I am not liking this winter weather. It is horrible. But yo guys, this truck is running good. Then my free trip, I cleaned my windows. I can see so much better. Hey yo guys, you do not even know the difference that cleaning your windows really makes. Until your windows are super dirty, you can't really see out of them. Like, always clean your windows guys. Like I have a window cleaner. And I have myself a little sque uh, squeegee, I think they're called, or whatever it is. So at any given moment, I feel like my windows are too, too dirty. I can always pull over. Clearly, if it's safe to. And clean my windows. Because cleaning it is not only from the outside. It's also from the inside. And sometimes, you know, touch your window with your hands or whatever the case is. You have a dog or, you know. Whatever. And it's good to clean it in and out. I like I do do in and out, but sometimes I only do the outer. You know, if the insides are clean and I can see good and I don't see no reflections or anything, then whatever. I keep pushing. But I'ma catch you guys when I am picking up a trailer. And we take the video on from there. I must try to record unloading the trailer. But the only thing about that is I'm still new to this, so I'm still a little nervous of people looking at me pooping around with a camera on my head, you know, because a lot of people is like, uh, this nigga like crazy or what's wrong with him, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, let's see what happens. If not, I'll show you the trailer when I get there, hooking up to it, and, you know, seeing if it's, everything is working, if everything basically the whole walk around uh, how i do it so like that when you guys go you don't have no issues either doesn't have to necessarily be in the same place i'm going but wherever you wherever you go is what i'm trying to say if you're doing power only like i am 
least you now know, you know, what to more, more or less to look for when you hooking up to a trailer, because I've had pickup trailers before that the tires are spotty, they're ready to go, really bad recaps on there. You can see the glue coming apart. It's, you know, you gotta, you know, be able to stand up for yourself and tell them, no, you're not taking that load, you know? Because if not, you rolling down the road, Whatever breakdowns happens, that's on you, basically. You know, now you're broken down on the side of the road. Now you're stuck. So don't be afraid to say no. I don't care. Yeah, okay, yes, let me lose money for a day. But at the end of the day, me losing money for that one day probably saved me hours of driving, hours of sitting around headaches on the side of the road, worrying about somebody hitting me or something. And also on top of that, worrying about DOT wanting to pull up on you, you know? So, save yourself a headache, speak up for yourself. And a lot of times, they'll either change your load. Same at the spot. I've had times that I picked up trailers, that the tires are gone, the lights don't work, door don't want to close or open right, and they have unloaded the trailer, and loaded it to another trailer, and got me on my way. Or sometimes they give you a whole different load that's going around the same area that pays around the same or pays even more sometimes so don't be afraid to speak up for yourself because at the end of the day it's your license it's your life and at the end of the day if something happens that's your responsibility you lose a tire hit a car and then what now you gotta go deal with all this headache or whatever you know a lot of times I've had tires blow on me on the highway thank the lord that you know all times it happened on me First time, it was in the middle of the night, like one, two in the morning, coming back from Georgia. I was on the 95, literally on exit one, I think it is, on 95, right before you hit South Carolina. Blew out there. I pulled over on the shoulder as far as I could because it was just bad. Took out the muff flap and everything. And then the second time. So what's going on, guys? I'm at my pickup. I'm looking for trailer 337. It's not on this side. Normally they're always on the left side. They're not, you know, you look on the right. It's not here, you go around the back and you look on the back. Sometimes they're super unorganized here and I hate it. And the rapid skills from these people are even worse. Hopefully it's recording. It is. Perfecto. 337. Where are you? Normally when I'm looking for my trailers and yards like this, or anywhere, I like to put it in first and just let the truck go on its own. It's at a perfect speed that I don't really need to give it gas. Unless you know there's no more trailers, then you know, you gotta speed it up. And the fact that I am not going too fast, I can actually look at the trailers that I'm looking for. Hopefully it's here. Hopefully I'm gonna go around. Oh, here it is, 337. So what I'm gonna do now is turn this way. Come on, get in there. There we go. There's that one right there in the corner. And let's back into it. Oh my god. My foot almost slipped off the clutch. Now let's drop the airbags. I am really bad angled. So I'm gonna go forward. Give the bags more time to drop. Some of the hazards. Well, that people know. You're doing something. See another truck coming. I'm backing up. Just have to stop it. I think we found his trailer as well. 337. It's right here. 
And one thing I like to do, guys, before I hook up to it, I like to get out and look at the trailer number, but I can see it through my mirror. That's a 337. So we're gonna slow it down a little bit. to do a little tug test to make sure that I am actually hooked on. As you can see, we are hooked. The is not going nowhere. Do it a few times just to make sure. Pull the brakes. 337. And 337. Perfect. Not all places is like this. They can just look at the last three. But here it is. Thank the Lord. Oh. We're gonna put these gloves on. are working which is always a big plus flip both sides make sure the signals are on good everything is good Another thing with this place, always gotta check your lift gate. But since you are unloading this yourself, you wanna make sure this works. Because if not, you're gonna have a bad day. Sometimes it does get frozen. <coughs> but that's okay, but you see, that's why you always wanna check, because look, the trailer is not, it's not closed all the way. make sure that your electrical pilot jack is always charged if I'm not believe me we're gonna have a shitty day 
Believe me when I tell you. And we are almost fully charged. That's good. Seals, paperwork. First stop. they did it's kind of weird but forget about it right <sighs> shoot this door hard i don't know because i need a little bit of love and grease but damn Different, so I'm just gonna put whichever, put whichever, and go with my day. Time I've been struggling, I could do it from my pod. <sighs> Everything is good, as we check, you see, no damage on the trailer. Let's get this party rolling. Just stop doing it. I've lost way too many gloves. And yeah, I'm tired of losing gloves. We're gonna be at the first stop pretty early. Here. Go oh, nice and slow. Turn about now. Always when you're pulling out like this, guys, you gotta be careful that when you pull out, the swing of the trailer doesn't hit the next trailer next to you. Let's see if anybody comes out. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But they ask you for the seal number. All right, those are getting the seal number I got here. Keep on going. I'm good. Seal number is one four five three two nine two six. One four five three two. Nine, two, six. That's all. Shoot back to neutral. Back to first. Oh, we out of here. Let's see what he wants to check. 
bought or what? Ah, I guess you gotta take a picture now. Stuff has changed a lot over here. up over here like i remember at one point they didn't have enough pilot jacks so people kept on leaving them losing them i don't know what the heck they was doing stealing them whatever but it was ridiculous guys don't think i like doing these runs because i don't i actually hate these runs because they're like local i love the fact that i can go home now after i'm done and everything but i hate the fact that some of these places are super tight and super annoying. I'm going to Staten Island. It shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too congested. But normally it is. And it sucks. You guys, always stop at your stop signs. Always stop at the lights. You could never know what could happen. In one like this is like at this right time this is like a road. really dead street the I've been here once during the day and it's semi busy like that whole car wash we packed these parking lots be having cars stop I can gear guys we are unloading now at the first stop and it is cold it is real cold as you can see my brush I don't have to put my gloves on because how cold it is I'm not going to do too much recording here because I don't want to wear it on nobody. There's some older ladies. So, you know, I'm going to stop it here and I'll get back to you in a few. So, guys, I am done with my load today. I dropped off the trailer, got some to Now I'm going home. That's the end of this video, guys. Don't forget to like, uh, don't forget to leave, uh, the little, okay, yeah, speak. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. You know, turn on your post notifications if you get alerted every single time I post a new video. As you can see, I'm not the best, but I am passionate about what I do. So, there's nothing about learning 
and getting better at what I do. Well, guys, catch you on the next one. Peace. Thank you for watching the video of Chicken with Jay. And there's a lot more bangers coming out.